This is Eugene Panrutkovich of the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron 14Z and 411Z laptop computer. You can use either of those two names, 14Z or N411Z, they're separate names, laptop computer. And it has a broken screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a broken screen on a Dell Inspiron. 14Z and 411Z laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we need to disconnect all power sources from the laptop, and that includes the battery on the bottom. So we flip the laptop over. There's two levers by the battery. We slide those outwards, and then while sliding those levers outwards, we lift up the battery and the battery comes out. So once we remove the battery, we can work on the laptop safely. Before we flip the laptop back over, I'll show you where the model number for this laptop is. It's under the battery, so you have to remove the battery to see the model number. And we see right here, I'm not sure we'll probably get a good focus, but there we go. Inspiron 14Z N. 411Z laptop computer right here. Okay, let's flip it back over and see what we need to do uh, next. Uh, like with any other laptop computer, it has a screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen that you have to remove first before you get to the screen itself. For most laptop computers, there are some screws that you have to remove to remove the screen bezel, but for our newer Dell laptop computers, there's no screws, you just snap the bezel off. But before we go, go on, we're going to show you the tools we're going to use for this laptop computer. Uh, we have some electronics screwdrivers. Uh, the first one is a PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one stands for the size. This screwdriver will probably use most frequently. Uh, just in case, we also have a PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws and a two millimeter flathead screwdriver and that's to get to screws that are an angle. This one's convenient. We also have a exacto knife or a hobby knife. We probably won't use it for this laptop but it's to remove rubber screw covers or plastic screw covers and a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that might be stuck. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to remove the screen bezel. And for this step, what I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and either of my fingertips or fingernails gently start lifting up the screen bezel from the screen side and pull outwards towards you and listen for snapping sounds. And if you hear snapping sounds, that's a good thing. The screen is coming off. So we gently work around the screen and find places where the screen can come off easier. And we find a place. If you if the screen is not coming off, if the bezel is not coming off easily in one place, go to a different place where it's easier and come back to the harder place. And gently work your way around the screen like so. Find the weak spots in the bezel we can get to. Be careful, try not to break it. Just take your time on this. This is probably the hardest part of it, but eventually it does come off. So once that happens, we put the screen bezel to the side and take a look at the screen assembly. Now for this model laptop, it's a uh, it was called a slim screen. It's thinner than a standard screen and instead of being mounted with screws on the sides it's mounted with, to, with screws to metal mounting tabs on top and bottom. This makes the job easier for us because we don't have to get to the screws on the sides. We just get the two screws on the bottom and two screws on the top. So to do this, tilt the screen back a little bit and use our, we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the top screws first 
and put each set of screws in its own piles. For this laptop, we only have one set of screws, so it's not as big a problem. So then we remove the two bottom screws, put it in the same pile because it's from the same step. And finally, we remove our last screw and put it to the side. Once you do that, gently start tilting the screen forward. Make sure nothing's getting stuck to the back and lay it down like so. And then we'll take a look at our connector. This this screen has one connector in this location where my finger is pointing and it's secured by some mounting tape. So we use our fingernails or exacto knife to lift up the tape. There's one piece of tape and then underneath there's another piece of tape. I'm going to try to use the exacto knife to lift this tape up. So we lift up the second piece of tape like so and once we do that once the tape is lifted up we gently pull the connector out like so and the screen is free uh, before I go on I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector because this is the biggest source of trouble that I see Okay, when you reconnect the connector, slide it back in, you'll feel, but not here, two clicks. That means the connector is fully engaged. So let's get a close-up of what it's supposed to look like, and hopefully we can get a good focus. There we go. Okay, this is about as good as we're going to get for this laptop. Okay, make sure there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connections. The connections should be flush with each other. Pause the video right there and your connection should look like that. This is a good connection. Alright, so let's go on. Okay, let's disconnect it again. Pull the connector out and take a look at this screen. This is a 14 inch LED slim screen. This is the official name for it. 14 inch LED slim. And this is fairly common screen so you should not have much trouble finding it. And let's take a look at the part number. The part number you're looking for is B140XW03. That's what you need to search for. Okay, uh, we we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen. Uh, you can buy it from us, and what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the repair. Repair. We also have a compatibility guarantee. Uh, we guarantee that the screen we ship to you will be compatible, or we send you the right one at no extra cost. We have a two-year warranty on all our screens, and finally, if you're not in the United States, we ship to most countries in the world, so we can get it to you. Okay, uh, to buy a screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com, click Buy a Screen, then there will be a short form for you to fill out. And we'll just need your email and laptop model number, and then we'll email you right back with the link to buy the right screen online, and then you can go on and buy it. And also, uh, we sell this toolkit on our website, so if you don't have the right tools, you can buy a toolkit from us. We'll ship it with the screen, and we'll get it to you. So once you have your new screen, this one's real easy to reassemble. Just connect the connector back in, mount the screen with the four screws, and snap the bezel on, and then you should be done. And that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovic. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.